On this edition of Check 6 Aviation, we're finally finishing the exterior, plus getting ready to take care of what needs to be taken care of to solve the bad advice. Welcome back to Check 6 Aviation, my friend. It is a beautiful day out here, down in here in Texas. It's been cold though. You know, we've had that big winter snor snowstorm come through and bomb cyclone much of the country. Thankfully, we don't have that much of an issue down here. It got really cold. I mean, it got down to nine degrees and you know, there was a lot of my fellow Texans that were shivering in their boots. And here it is just after Christmas. We're going into the New Year's Day uh, here next week on Sunday. Um, by the way, by the time you're seeing this, Happy New Year, 2023 is upon us. Let's hope that 2023 is much better than 2022 was to a lot of us. I know 2022 kind of put me out of business as far as the trucking goes, but uh, it will, it's only, it, I fall down seven and I get up eight times. So I know that I'm, I'm, I'm out for now, but not down for the count. So let's go ahead and update what we've done here. We have finished the front facade. The front facade is now complete with the trim work over here and over here. And we have started painting the, the well, not really the back wall, um, more like the, not the house side wall. We've started painting. Um, primarily to get all up in there done so that I can go ahead and start closing up the the open rafter area with the um, what, what do you call it the uh, the the uh, soffit yeah the soffit because this would be the fascia you know the fascia boards pointing out uh, so wrapping up get paint up here uh, I need to go ahead and trim that piece to fit up there and then start painting all the way up there to get uh, in preparation for the trim boards there. Uh, trim pieces will be added here to close up this corner and we'll do the same over here makes it work it, it's not just a function uh, uh, um, a fancy looking piece it's actually quite functional too but for now I'm going to go ahead and open up that box over there and pull the wires through the PVC conduit that I have buried and get all that out of the way so that I can go ahead and start uh, I have nothing to worry about when I start cutting up. So let's get to it. So anytime you're dealing with electrical, you want to make sure that you stay safe. First of all, you don't want to make any contact with the ground. Um, you want to make sure that the circuit is de-energized, which I will be doing. Um, but I'm also going to be adding a few safety items. First of all, I have rubber sole shoes, and I have leather gloves that I will be wearing. Yeah, I know they're insulated, but hey, you can never be too careful. Plus, I'll also be sitting on a plastic bucket. So I will be very well insulated in working with that panel out there. That's a 200 amp panel. Uh, and I'm adding a 100 amp uh, sub panel. Um, so, and there's already 140 amps being used, but Texas code allows for one and a half times uh, the amount of amperage allowed through a panel. So, I'm still well within. Uh, so I can go up to 300 amps on that panel, and I'm still well within code. So I also have everything disconnected on here as well, in preparation to 
start pulling and it's going to be a hard pull. Um, I'll probably end up pulling the, the ground wire first. Maybe pull it from this side because it's not that hard to pull from the other side. Uh, it, it, it's better, it'd probably be easier to pull from this side, I don't know. We'll see. Now I do want to emphasize that I have a neighbor just down the street who is a master electrician and he has been guiding me through the process. In fact, he even came down, took a look inside this very panel and told me what I need to do in order to connect the power to the workshop. All right, well, I got that taken care of. All of that cable is now laying right there, all the way up there. Um, all the ground wires are, are, are out, so I have clean pipe all the way from here on up to the, the workshop and I'm like think I'm like looking at this opening here and it's not big enough for an inch and a half so I'm probably gonna have to cut out you know pop this this portion out here and go in from the back on the next yeah the next run uh, so yeah now Back to work. All right, before we go any further, some 60 to 70% of you who view my videos are actually not subscribed. It's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of wondering what, what's going on here. But anyway, beside, that's beside the point. I get it. You guys are just scrolling through YouTube uh, or wherever you may see these videos and uh, you, you know, don't understand what, how channels actually grow in size in, in terms of viewerships. Well, it is by subscribers primarily, so why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to show all, so that way you don't miss any of our, our, my content. And by the way, while you're at it, go ahead and give me that thumbs up, give that like button a smash down below, and that will really tell the YouTube algorithm that, hey, this is kind of content that you like, and it does help the channel a lot. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart to yours. Here you must be thinking, man, that's a really big piece. But you know what? It was just much easier to tack this up with a screw, move the ladder, and trace where I needed to cut rather than just cutting the piece over and over again until it was small enough. It really did cut the work down to just a couple of cuts this way. And here we go. It is finished and being installed on the workshop. Well, it's a little later in the day. I got called away to help out a friend clear out a little bit of her, her yard. Oh my God. I mean, you've seen the show um, Hoarders. Well, this was a hoarder out in her yard. Or her ex-husband is, well, her husband is, uh, is well, Kind of like a hoarder slash junk collector. I mean, you've seen American Pickers? Yeah. So we started, we got started on, she just didn't know where, she did not know where to start. So how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. You always start at the beginning. And so we got her started. We got a clear path on uh, where, which, you know, for her to, to follow down and it's gonna take a while, but anyway. So, the wind's picked up a bit, but we've got about maybe a couple hours worth of daylight left. Let's get back to work. This was perhaps some of the more tedious portions of the whole project so far, because I had to basically cut in single lines on the edge of the brush along the indents of all of the exterior pieces. All right, sun is set, it's getting cooler out, so calling it for the day, but see, I've got a good portion of it done now. Uh, we'll go ahead and tackle the rest of it. Day two. All right, so progress has been made. As you can see, this wall is done, all painted. So now that we, we move on to the last wall, the very last wall, the back wall. The monster, which will take up the rest of the paint that I have in the can. 
I'm about half a gallon right now, which means that I am right on track to where I need to be. So that's a good thing. And as Mike Patey says, back to work. One of the things that I did in preparation for this portion was I went and purchased the trim work ahead of time while I was painting. So here, even though you see the the lines, this is the really tedious portion. You see me doing the line right there and then filling in the, the, the rest of the color. Um, what you won't see is the rest of the trim work here. And boom, just like that, painting is done. Now it's on to the trim work. And what I meant by the rest of the trim work is that I did get the other wall, the other corner done. I, you'll, you're seeing me here uh, put up the the, the the roof pieces, the roof edge pieces, and measure them and cut them to you know, to the angles that they needed to be. But and I did get the other corner done, like I said. But I didn't get the footage showing me uh, covering up the one the piece that. You know the, the seam between you know the the, ver the horizontal seam. That's what I didn't get. So can't show what I don't have. But hey, I assure you, it's there, and it looks good. Okay, this is the part of the project where I have to actually correct something that I did before. This has to come off because it is a little bit too long and it will go back on after I get the soffit, um, yeah, the soffit boards installed. And I need to do that before I can do the other corner. So let's get back to work. Okay, so the longest section of the boards that I'm using for the soffit come in 12 foot. However, this is 16 foot. They don't have any in, the, in that length. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use a couple of 12 footers to kind of offset the, yeah, everything. And what I'm doing is I've marked about where the center is to this rafter. And when I cut here, this has got this is about the center. You know, it's about where I need it to be uh, for good placement on the other end. But I will check and make sure before I before I do any cutting. After all, the old shop axiom is: measure twice, cut once. One eternity later. All right. Well, I'm back out in the yard, but it's been several days later. I have officially started with Penske. Easy money right now because all I'm doing is just riding around. I'm not doing any driving or any any real work. I'm, I'm learning a route, but it's not going to be my route. But this is what I've got going on here. Uh, I have started the process of trimming the the uh, trimming the ends off of the. Uh, the rafters so that I can close up the the ends here plus the wife is always complaining every time I come in to the house after it rains about me tracking mud yeah it's a wife thing I get it so my simple solution build a walkway 
build a walkway right up here and a little uh, little area that I don't have to worry about tracking mud because you, as you can see this is dirt and through here grass is pretty much dead I'll replant grass later and it's problem solved happy wife happy life Three days later. All right, it's finally the weekend and I just completed all of the surgical cuts along the rafters over there, uh, right along here. Actually, I completed those over the week, but on the other side, I just completed the last cut and we're ready to hang some fascia boards. And so I wanted to get this question out. I put this question over on Instagram. Should I paint or clear coat the fascia boards that are go along here? Someone jokingly, well, not, maybe not jokingly, suggested that I put up uh, some you know, vinyl, some uh, skin, some some aluminum you know, with uh, some rivets. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, I do have some spare skin, but. No, seriously though, no. comment down below. Should I paint, because I do have some paint left over, or should I clear coat and keep the look? So I gotta get some help over here. You'll see Sammy in the you know, in the next segment, you know, the next clip, you know, helping me. It'll be a couple seconds and then we'll be done. And then this will be the end of the video. By the way, if you haven't already, give us a like subscribe down below the subscriptions really help the channel help us get closer to our 1000 subscriber goal for right now and this, the likes really do help the channel because it helps the YouTube algorithm define what you guys want to see so with that let's get back to work I believe it was the Beatles who once said I get by with a little help from my friends and let me tell you, I have been utterly blessed with Sammy and his friendship and because a lot of this project would not have been possible without his assistance. Now, given, keep in mind, he's up there in an age, he's in his 80s, I believe, a, vet, you know, a veteran of Air Force or Army, I, I, I think it was Army. But uh, you know, he does what he can, and he has never said no to help me out on this project whenever I have needed it. I, I, I can't thank him enough. And I look forward to having him pound a few rivets with me. I really do. And by the way, if any of you have any tips, Please share them below. I have taken the EAA Sport Air Workshop in Sheet Metal Basics. I am an EAA member. Uh, I do have plenty of resources here with my local EAA chapter, Experimental Aircraft Association, Big Country, Chapter 471. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you're within flying distance every second Saturday or driving distance and you want to come around and have some some killer eggs well we, we promise we won't kill you but they're really good yeah we have uh, breakfast every second saturday of the month starting at 9 a.m and a bunch of good coffee and uh, fellowship uh social hours and uh i promise it'll be a good time and guests are always welcome All right, that's going to do it for this episode. We did the other side almost pretty much like we did this side, so it doesn't really make sense to show that. But uh, yeah, it's done. It's closed up. Finally! Finally! <laughs> so the next episode, we're moving inside. We're focusing on finishing up this project and starting to pound rivets. I can't wait! Ah! 
<coughs> so, like, subscribe, comment down below. Should we paint the the base the, the fascia boards, or should we just go ahead and clear coat them with a uh, with a and not really a clear coat. I mean, I'm using Minwax. I'm using a Minwax product, and they're not a sponsor, by the way, but I'm told they're good. Um, and so comment down below, what do you think we should do? I'm gonna leave it blank. I'm gonna leave it just like this for right now until I hear some, some of the comments down below. And then the next episode inside, we're gonna finish up the drywall. We're going to go ahead and uh, prime and uh, put down self-leveling concrete for the flooring. Then we're uh, after that's done, we'll go ahead and finish up the electrical, going to the back and get power to this workshop, start pounding rivets. So appreciate you watching, appreciate all of the subscribers. And the reason why I push the subscribers so hard, you know, is because, well, I want the channel to grow. I want more people to experience this project. I want more people to experience the joy of aviation. Because I know that I know that this is a building project. I'm building a, a workshop. Uh, it looks like a shed. Yeah, for all intents and purposes, it is a shed. But an airplane is going to come out of this. So with that, peace, love, and always check your six. Later. <laughs>